Welcome to the YouTube family. You are very welcome to join us for this Vigil Mass for Ash Wednesday. And this Mass has been offered for your intentions. And in particular, whatever the Lord has put into your heart to do for Lent. This Mass has been offered that God's blessing may go out to you. And that you'll be blessed in whatever you take on for Lent. Now normally before Mass, I spend about half an hour in prayer and pottering before Mass. Today, because this is an important Mass with so many people likely to watch in, to view it, uh, I've spent the last two hours praying and pottering. Not deep prayer, just wandering around the place, setting up the altar, setting up the, the ashes for the blessing, setting up the camera, setting up the lighting. but praying and pottering for the last two hours. In every Mass, the death and resurrection of Jesus are made present. Here today on this little altar, the death and resurrection of Jesus is about to be made present. And so we pray for the grace to be able to truly put our minds and hearts into it. And every day before Mass, I finish the preparation before Mass with a little bit of vocal prayer leading whoever is present as I even vest for the Mass. And so today, once again, as I do here every day, as I put on the vestments, let us bring to the Lord everything we've experienced these last few days. Let us give thanks for any blessing we experienced. But let us bring to the Lord anything we found frustrating, annoying, upsetting. Anything that grated on our spirit. Praying, Lord, for the grace to surrender. To truly surrender all things into your hands. And as we prepare for the Mass... We come not just for ourselves. We come in intercession for our church. Lord, that our church may preach the full gospel. Lord, that during this period of Lent, that our church may call people back to you. We bring to the Lord... We bring to the Lord whatever intention is in each person's heart. All our own personal intentions and everything that has been going around through our minds. We bring it all to the Lord. But we also pray, Lord, for the grace. For the grace, Lord, that as soon as Mass begins, that we will surrender everything into your hands. That we will surrender all our wandering thoughts. And be able to put our mind totally and completely into what takes place in the Mass. To be able to truly enter into what is going to happen on this altar. Your death and your resurrection be ma being made present. You are merciful, O Lord, to all, and despise nothing that you have made. You overlook people's sins to bring them to a repentance, and you spare them, for you are the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And now to prepare ourselves, let's just think of the knock apparition scene. Because what they saw up in knock was a still image, a photograph as it were, or a living photograph of the Mass as made present by heaven itself. The angels around the altar. A reminder to us that in every Mass we have the angels around us. Let us welcome the angels here today. And then beside the altar, our Blessed Mother, with her hands extended like the hands of the priest. 
a reminder to us that just as our Blessed Mother was there at the foot of Calvary, uniting with Jesus in his death, so too in every Mass, our Blessed Mother unites with the priest in offering the Mass to God the Father. And then beside our Blessed Mother, St. John, reading from the Word of God, the importance of listening to God's Word in the Mass. And St. Joseph bowed in prayer, the two of them representing the saints. Let us welcome our Blessed Mother here today. Let us welcome the saints, including the saints from each of our own families. And we give thanks that here on this altar, the death and resurrection of Jesus are about to be made present and call to mind how truly unworthy we are. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, we ask you to bless every person into whose life we have ever brought hurt or disappointment. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, for all the times we didn't love you enough to do things exactly your way, didn't trust you enough to surrender everything into your hands, weren't open to you enough for you to be able to lead us and guide us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord God, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of of self-restraint through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Joel. Now now it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken not your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. Who, know, who knows if he will not turn again, will not relent, will not leave a blessing as he passes, sound a trumpet in Zion, order a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly, call the people together, summon the community, assemble the elders, gather the children, even the infants at the breast. Between vestibule and altar, let the priests and ministers of the Lord lament. Let them say, Spare your people, Lord. Do not make your heritage a thing of shame, a byword for the nations. Why should it be said among the nations, Where is their God? Then the Lord, jealous on behalf of his land, took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. The response, have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offence. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. My offences, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervour sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. The second reading is from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
We are ambassadors for Christ. It is as though God were appealing to us and the appeal that we make in Christ's name is be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made the sinless one into sin so that in him we might become the goodness of God. As his fellow workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, at the favourable time I have listened to you, on the day of salvation I came to your help. Well, now is the favourable time. This is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, be careful not to parade your good deeds before people to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have a trumpeter before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to set up prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had the reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on the gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let people know that they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that no one will know you are fasting except the, your Father who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. The appeal we make in Christ's name is, be reconciled to God. Lord Jesus, we pray that that appeal may go out to the ends of the earth. We pray, Lord Jesus, that during this Lent, that our church may call people everywhere to be reconciled with you, to be reconciled with God the Father, to become open to the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. We pray, Lord, for our YouTube family. Lord Jesus, whatever they are taking on for Lent, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will bless it. Whatever you are prompting them to do for Lent, bless it, Lord. And through it, may they be blessed. And may their intentions be blessed. Through this video, Lord, may your blessing Touch the mind and heart of each member of our YouTube family. Lord, hear us. We also pray, Lord, for conversions. For all parents who are crying out to you in particular, for all parents who are crying out to you for the conversion of their children and their children's children. Or indeed for any family member, anybody crying out to you for the conversion of a family member. Lord, give them wisdom. Give them wisdom, Lord. And anoint them in their prayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. I wish to thank you, God, for my family. I thank you, God, for my health. I pray that to all those people that are suffering at this time be with them and I pray that we may stay strong in prayer and that we may all come back to you as once upon a time we did. 
Lord, graciously hear us. The March issue of the Curate's Diary has been printed. And as usual, we always bless it before it goes out. Lord Jesus, we call forth your blessing upon the March issue of the Curate's Diary. Lord Jesus, wherever it goes, may it bring your blessing. Lord Jesus, send your Holy Spirit to touch and inspire every person who picks up the March issue of the Curate's Diary, that in some way that our lives may be touched through it. We ask this in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Blessing of the Ashes Dear friends, let us humbly ask the Lord our God that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to, act, to works of penance, lead, lend your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing upon these ashes and on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observance, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And whatever, Lord, each person is taking on for Lent, whatever you are prompting them to do, give them the strength, Lord, to do it. Give them the strength, Lord, to do it. Through our Lenten observances, Lord, may we enter more fully into union with you and come under your anointing. And may these ashes, Lord, be a symbol of the repentance, of our repentance of sin and of our desire to walk with you always. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of him who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For true goodness we have received the wine, we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes, With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us of our sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And as we prepare now for the Eucharistic prayer, let us once again bring whatever is the deepest intentions of our hearts. And let us come with the, con with the consciousness of the suffering of so many of our people, crying out to God for them. One, one of the comments left on the one of my videos yesterday was from Paul, Father, I need a miracle to fight against my addictions. I've just lost my twin sister through an addiction. I have no family left. I feel total despair and hopelessness about my situation. Please pray for me. We pray for Paul, and indeed we remember his sister Sandra as well, but we pray for Paul, and we pray through this Mass. Lord, that something of your power may go out to every desperate person, that something of your power may go out to the people that each of us, our YouTube family, each of us are praying for in this Mass. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, 
we entreat you, O Lord God, that through works of penance and charity we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered, disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so we join the angels and the saints and we turn to God the Father and we cry out, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord God, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fate, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. Therefore, O Lord God, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord God, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, the bishop in each of our dioceses, and all the clergy, and all God's people, including each of our own extended families, that they may hear your voice, Lord God, and walk in your ways, and walk in your ways. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, including each of our own deceased family members, and our deceased ancestors in every direction, right back to the generations, the very beginning of time, including also the people we knew who died tragically, and those who appear to have rejected you are your teaching. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. One thing I encourage is the turning of the Our Father in the Mass into a golden Our Father. When we seek to put our minds on God the Father, and then keep our minds on God the Father for the full duration of the Our Father, speaking directly to him. And in that spirit we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord God, we pray, from every evil. From every evil, including the coronavirus, but even more so, the spirit of apostasy. Deliver our families from it, O Lord. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us just pause and ask ourselves, is there somebody I need to forgive? Is there somebody I need to be reconciled with? Is there something I need to let go of? Is there somebody I need to reach out the hand of friendship to? Lamb of God. Lord Jesus, help us to receive you with great faith and great reverence and receiving you Lord not just for ourselves but conversions conversions behold of the Lamb of God Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this great privilege. For this great privilege of being able to be united with you in your death and resurrection made present in the Mass. And for those of us here, for this great privilege of being able to receive you in Holy Communion and asking your blessing for those not being able to receive you in Holy Communion, but thanking you that you are within them. 
that you, Lord, are within them. We offer up our Mass in intercession for those who do not know you, those who do not love you, for conversions and the grace, Lord, to be responsible for conversions. The grace, Lord, to never miss an opportunity to help another person come to know and love you. The grace, Lord, to have the right word at the right time, to spot the right opportunity. We also pray, Lord, for protection. Protection against the spirit of apostasy creeping into our families but also protection against COVID-19. Lord, wisdom and protection. Wisdom to know exactly what to do, when to do it, where to go, who to meet. And wisdom to know when not to do any of these things. And Lord, on top of wisdom, protection. And I ask that grace, Lord, for each member of our YouTube family. Wisdom and protection. And we entrust to you whatever intention is in the heart of each person watching this Mass whenever they watch it. I'm praying for protection also, Lord, to safeguard and protect each of us, our homes, families, loved ones, helpers and all of our cars, from all serious danger, accidents and evil, and also Lord, protection against cancer and other serious illnesses and alcoholism, suicidal desires and depression and coronavirus and your blessing upon those of our people suffering from them and those who have the care of people suffering from them. And whatever is your number one prayer, I invite you now to hold your number one prayer before Jesus as we join to pray three times. May your sacred heart, Lord Jesus, be praised, glorified and honoured throughout the whole world, now and forevermore. May your sacred heart, Lord Jesus, be praised, glorified and honoured throughout the whole world, now and forevermore. May your sacred heart, Lord Jesus, be praised, glorified and honoured throughout the whole world, now and forevermore. Pour out the spirit of compunction, O Lord God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. It, it's possible that many of you may not be able to get out to get the blessed ashes, and so I'm going to put blessed ashes on myself now, calling down the blessing of the blessed ashes of every person who is watching this, praying for the grace for myself and for each person, the grace to repent of my sins, to repent of our sins, and the grace to truly believe the gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Incidentally, I have some blessed ashes here uh, in containers which can be given out. But also, there are so, uh, I have some blessed ashes in packets which can be sent by post. So if anybody sends us a stamp self-addressed envelope, I'll be very happy to send you some blessed ashes. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord.